of the day 19. I'm going to get right to the point on this one. This is all footage from a flight I did today going to get some maintenance. And what I want to hit is three things on aborting a helicopter flight. This is something we need to spend a bunch of more time on, but something real quick. I did five years working for Omni Flight Helicopters doing uh, EMS flying, and that was awesome. Got to fly BK-117 and EC-135, and a ton of great experience. And I think one of the best things that I ever got from their training was the chief pilot who was a former line pilot, Czech airman, said if you're flying along on an EMS flight and all of a sudden you find yourself descending and slowing down from where you want to be at to feel comfortable, it's probably a pretty good time to turn around and go home. And I want to add a third one to that. If your gut's telling you that too, that's probably a great idea. There's all kinds of factors that get involved in deciding when to turn around and go back or when to land and get down on the ground and get to a safe spot. And we all have outside pressures, depending on what kind of job you're doing. It doesn't matter. They, they all have pressures. We have pressures we put on ourselves. So on this flight, that looked pretty bad right there, what, looked, what you see in this picture. And in reality, the direction I was really going to go was pretty decent. And there was a spot opening up and everything was great, but I had my own personal minimum set. As I was flying along, I knew at what point I was going to say, you know what, yes, I want to get up for maintenance, but if I can't get there today, I'm just going to have to turn around and go back home and delay it another day. It doesn't matter what else I have going on and what it's going to screw up. And that's part of, part of being a pilot and trying to make the best decisions you can and and there's really a lot to that so three things and this is this isn't in any textbook anywhere it's just something that I kind of like and, and tell myself and, and I still like I said I still go back to the days when they said if you're slowing down and you're lowering your altitude it's a pretty good bet that it's time to be going home and turning around or, or finding a place to land and if your gut is telling you as well, that's, you know, everything in life. Usually, your gut is right. So, if you're slowing down, you're dropping your altitude, then where you really want to be, and your gut's telling you it's time to go home, it's probably a good time to abort and turn around and get back home. So, thanks for stopping by. Click the like button. It's getting late. I'm getting tired. Long day. Thanks, everybody. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. I'm not sure if I remember how to do it. Burr! It's like the sky opened up just for me. Yep. Oh. Holy shit!